Welcome back, my friends, to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Master System. In the last episode, we had a bit of problems with, um... Yeah, we had a bit of problems with, uh, Jungle Zone. Anyway, we're in Labyrinth now, so all is okay, apart from if you run straight on, you die. Then again, that seems to be a permanent feature in this game, doesn't it? I could have gone there and got, like, some stuff. I, can I still get them? I believe you can. I believe there's a spring. Nah. Mario the Mario the plumbing driller comes back. Look at that. Only he doesn't look like Mario anymore. Right. Let's see if we can get some stuff. Because I believe there are some stuff up here. Nothing. 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 There's got to be something here. There you go. Ten ring. Ten ring box. Always comforting. Right, let's go. I like the way the enemies don't respawn. That's quite an advanced feature on a video game, do you think? Don't you think? Um, taking that. Right now. Here's a here's a here's a here's a difficult part, but I'm gonna see if I can do it. You've got to try and watch out for that. Get this life. Then once you get this life, run like hell because you don't have long. I might have just balls it up right there. Oh, what? You can't jump. Oh, fine. I won't get it. But apparently, I'm pushing too. Uh, I'm pushing too much. On. I'm being a bit heavy-handed. Apparently. Oh crud. No, no, no. I'm not even going to bother with that. I'm not going to try that. I right, sod that. But anyway, from when I used to be able to do it, you could just get that life and then run, which was always quite cool. You're dead. Please get me some rings. Please get me some air. Please, oh, there's some air back over here, isn't there? Of course there is, right. You better give me some air. I'm looking at you. Give me some freaking air or you will die. Thank you. Well, I will die as well, but you first. Whoa. And yes! Got my ring! Alright, don't try and jump over these unless you're really, really good. I don't even think they let you. Anyway, nice to see a checkpoint every now and again. Yes! And I should have been able to make that. Never mind. This bit is a bit of a trial. Because I think this bit is a bit of a trial here. Jump over it! Yes! I just made it! Wow! I very rarely get that done in one take. I'm quite happy with myself, actually. Yay! Makes up for the complete debacle that happened at the start of the part. Right. I'll be taking that. This game is being really, really good with me right now. He's like, hey, it's Master Up, he's back! Oh, this is his favorite game, even though he's played all the Sonic games for the Genesis and stuff. Oh, cheers, mate. Oh, we're gonna... Yeah, we love you, man. And all that stuff. Anyway, this is important. This is vital to get if you want the Chaos Emerald. Which, you know me, I like a, I like a Chaos Emerald. You've got to be extremely quick. Oh, pff, I might have just balls it up right there. I'm going to give it a go, though. Come on, please tell me I'm not too late. Damn it, I'm too late. I got it, but I died in the process. So pretty much what you need to do there... Oh, back here again. Thanks. Lovely. Love it. Anyway, what you need to do there is you need to try and get to that end bit. See, that, that's, that's what happens on this area. There you go. Basically what you need to do is you've got to try and get to the Chaos Emerald before pretty much you die. Pretty much the invincibility runs out. You need the invincibility to get the Chaos Emerald. Bit of a douche move by the game if you ask me, but you know. I guess they need to have a, a, a few difficult parts, don't they? I mean, just if Sky Base wasn't enough. Uh, hey, I'll take that. Ah, oh, 
credit. Credit, credit, credit. Don't hit me. Thank you. No, I'm good here. I'm good here. I'm good here. I think. Jump it. Oh, come on. That sucked. I called myself a pro a few parts back. <laughs> hmm. What do you think, guys? Am I talking up my ass? I believe I am. <sighs> okay. Let's try and get this done in one. Yes. Done in one. Give me some air. Thank you. Jump up. Right now, three, two times that this bubble area has been very kind to me. Hey, it's kind again. Love it. Love you, bubble. All right, let's try this again. Can't believe I'm getting stuck on this bit. Of all bits, this bit. Yeah. Okay, don't balls it up this time, Sonic. Come on. Trying to get as much as I can. Right. Make your move, Sonic. Make your move. Oh, I got it already. Never mind. Well, there you go. That's that's the level done. Is there anything over here? No. Oh, well. Once you get the Chaos Emerald once, you don't need to get it again. That's quite good, I see. But, you know. Makes the game a little bit easier. Anyway, that's it. That's level... Two done in about, you know, about seven minutes. <sighs> Feels like eight and a half minutes. Anyone guess that anyone guess that reference? Wow, well done. Okay, ten lives, Labyrinth Boss. This one's an easy-ish one, just as long as you know what to do. Also, we don't need air bubbles for this one, which is quite fun. We don't need air bubbles for it. There's the life, by the way, and that's the one I'm not gonna get because. If I'm honest, you're probably going to lose a few lives getting to it, so I'm going to have no point. Anyway, as you can see, he's there. Now, the first thing you want to think is, Ah, I'm just going to go and go and hit him. Don't. Seriously, don't. Because there is no actual geometric way you can then get back uh, onto, the onto the platform. So, don't bother going for him when he's there. There is really no point. Just hit him when he's up here. There you go. Just hit him when he's up there, and you should be fine. Just hit him once, because probably hitting him twice would have probably killed me off. Jump that. I like the fact that in these levels you don't get any rings for bosses. That's sort of what makes this game a lot more difficult. Missed him. I'll hit him once then. I'm taking the, uh, the cautious approach to this boss, because you have to. Right, I was just making sure that he doesn't fire a, a fast one. He pulls a smart one. Anyway. But guys, I'm about to turn the volume up. Because, oh boy, epicness is about to ensue. Ready? I am. <laughs> oh! Okay. Scrap Brain Zone! Hey! This is the greatest 8 bit bit of music I've ever heard in my life! Look at this! Listen to it! Now, who can say that the. Oh! That the Genesis version's better! Piss is it better! And the level structure, look at this! Come on, this looks cool! It's got fire and thunder! You know, it had them in the other, in the Genesis version. But this, it just makes it look much cooler. Listen to it. There you go. That's the bit they edited out. They did not put this. They either didn't put it in the Genesis version, or this was added in for this version. And they didn't put it in, and they should have. It would have made it at least a bit tolerable for me. Anyway, that's level one complete. <laughs> that's it. Level one is done. 
I like the industrial c landscape in the background. I like the red sky. That's... Ugh. Just personifies badassery. I'm going to try and maintain my composure because this level is... Huh. Platforming heaven. And I'm an atheist and this is platforming heaven. I believe if you go down one of these, you get a... I'm going to test this, guys. No. Okay. <laughs> I thought if you went down one of them, you got a... Uh, that th you went to part of the level. Oh, yeah, I know. It's, it's later on. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm just testing, but I'm not, like, safe state or whatever. I would not dream of safe stating on this game. This game doesn't deserve safe states. This game deserves for you to play it outright. If you can't complete the game without safe states, especially this game, then you shouldn't be playing the game, pretty much. You know, learn how to play the game and then play through it. It's a lot more satisfying than playing with friggin' safe states on this level. Even though this level is a bit of a pain at times. Try and find the Kale symbol, for example, and it is here. This is where you can get lost. And this is probably the only level where uh, you can exceed the time limit to die. Yep, if you exceed the time limit, you die. There's a special, li there's an extra life, we'll be getting that soon. Right, now this is where you can get utterly lost. I will try not. Pig! You roll over there and the pigs aren't going to be really be much of a problem. You just keep rolling here, there are pigs. Those pigs, remember, that fire bombs at you, like, they, they look like fart clouds from Red and Stimpy. Stop, you fool! I just gotta kill you! You know, jump here, a jumper here. Let's see what we've got. We have... Ah, this bit. Right now, I'm gonna push this button. So for when we come back here later on, I don't have to do it again. Also, die pig! Oh, caterpillar! Oh, caterpillar, you're so cute. Right, is it here? I'm gonna try this. Yes! I knew it was somewhere. You go into this one. And there is your coup de gras. There is your Chaos Emerald. Where's Caterpillar? There he is. Sorry, Caterpillar. I've got things to do. I've got fat people to maul. I am Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes. Now pretty much all we need to do is we need to just go and get the... We just need to go back and finish the level. But I don't want to. You know, I don't want to. So what I'm actually going to do is this. Drop completely down. Ah, okay, I'll go this way. This allows you to go up. To here. Which is pointless. Pointless, guys. Pointless. You go this way. On the other hand, it's not pointless. It's actually quite good. You get... That extra life you saw. That's how to get the extra life. And now to finish the level. Because there's nothing else in this level you need to do. Yeah, this... Oh, God. Yeah, apart from that bit at the start, I knew this level like the back of my hand. It is... How could I forget this level? You can't. Well, I, I definitely can't. This is my favourite level. Of any Sonic game. The music, the layout design, just... Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Jump here. Go here. And as you can see, now that you've opened that door, you can go through this one. I want to check there's a floor. There is a floor. There is also death. Whoa. Nearly killed myself there. That was lucky. Run through the door, Sonic. Run through the door. I have no rings, so... I'm going to be taking this very cautiously, because this last bit is a bit of a pain. Very slowly. Or do I just run? Oh, I just run. Okay. I'm forgetting things. Yeah! Okay, then that's Scrap Brain done. Yeah. Now it's time for the boss level. Or is it? Dun dun dun! 
Well, you're about to find out. Scrap Brain 3. Notorious for having rings in it. And apart from the death floors, no actual way to kill you. Yeah, th this, this level can't kill you unless you fall. That thing, for example, won't kill you. There's an extra life, which I will endeavor to get. Now, I've tried this, oh good lord, I've tried this hundreds and hundreds of times. To try and get a hundred rings on this. I believe it is mathematically impossible. Which, you know, it does sort of suck. But, you know, ah, damn it. Oh, I gotta go back that way then, don't I? I'm trying to, trying to remember how to get that life. I think I remember. You gotta go straight to the top and then go down to the bottom. I believe you gotta go this way, yes. Stuff. Go down here. And life! There you go. So yeah, this level actually has no boss battle, as you could probably guess. So basically, pretty much now I've got the life, I'm just gonna go to the end of the level. There's no boss battle in this, as you can see there's no time limit! Which does allow you, if you want, to spend hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, and hours of your life, if you want to, that is, uh, doing this level. You know, just trying to find that last few rings you need to get to the, you know, to get exactly a hundred rings and you never freaking get it. Irritating at times, yeah. I got 81, it's not bad. <coughs> There's Robotic, come back here, you fat kid. This is where Robotic proves to you that he, even though he's a fat bugger with skinny legs, he can run like probably Usain Bolt. Anyway, let's follow him up to the next level, but that'll be in the next part, the final part in fact, of Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog for the Mass System. I'll see you then. Also, 13 lives. Unlucky for some, lucky for me. I'll see you then.